Hey there guys, this is Wesnator88 here, and I'm back in with an episode of Fishing Planet. Yes guys, Fishing Planet. Now, as you can tell, I'm actually playing on my console version, not the PC version. So obviously I'll be doing some videos which are actually a bit more ahead than what my PC version is, uh, as I'm going to show you. As you can see, I've already done, and I did this all last year, unfortunately I didn't do a recording, which I'm kind of regretting. I've already done all of these events, so what I'm going to show you quickly is what happens when you have the Santa's headlamp so what you actually get for or what is the best thing for you having it and then in the next episode I'll do what you actually get by having the polarized glasses in the episode so what we're going to do is we're going to go over somewhere simple we're going to go over to Lone Star Lake and I'm going to show you exactly what you get for having the Santa's hat so obviously, just in case anyone's wondering, you do have to have the um, snowman cap or any normal cap in the game. This is on PC and console versions, regardless. And just in case, I will show you what I mean by that once it loads up, because I can then show you my actual character. Now, obviously, I haven't played on the console in quite a while. Uh, I just had to set up all my rods because I was like, oh, no, I haven't done this in a while. Um, as you can see there. Right, so we're going to go to inventory and we're going to go to my character. Now as you can see here, he is wearing a cap. Because the uh, Santa's headlamp, as you can see there, needs to go on a cap. You cannot just have the headlamp, it has to have a cap to go onto, strangely enough. Now as you can see there, I've got a lot more stash and a lot more items because obviously I've got a lot more loot and items because obviously my level is a lot higher than my PC version. So now as you can see I do have the catapult and what we are going to do as well is I'm actually going to test something because on the PC version it doesn't let you do this so I'm going to see if it will let me do it on this version. Um, so I'm going to add in 9. I'm just going to quickly do this so you guys can see. And they have changed it because before you could have a whole bag of one of these ground baits mixed in with the cookie ground mix. They've changed it. They've actually changed it. I'm a bit annoyed about that. Um, how do I... How do I just... Now that deletes it. <sighs> this has been a while since I've done this. Um, <sighs> there we go. Uh, haunt clip. There we go. So yeah, before you could just add... Just one, and you could add extras. Now, unfortunately, they've made it that you have to only use the cookie pan ground bait. Great, that makes a lot of sense. You bleeders. <sighs> now they made this difficult, aren't they? There we go. So yeah, for the ground bait, you now have to just use the cookie. Same would go for the pure snow. The pure snow is mostly used to do for snowball fights, which I will show you as well in another episode. But like I say, this just to quickly go over what you get with the um, Santa's headlamp. I am going to try and do a video of getting the fish so you can get the headlamp. Same goes for the glasses and the other channel as well. So anyway, we're going to come over to this spot here so I can actually get my stocking because I haven't actually done my stocking yet for the console version. I have, like I said, I've not played on the console in a while. And yes, this will be showing up as the PC version. Wow, that is really dark. That really does go back quite a bit. Wow. How dark that is, is unbelievable. They've actually changed it. Now, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of my rod? There we go. Um, yeah. Right, so, I'm going to come over here. Going to interact. And I got a lump of coal. Great, thanks for that. Here's that. Ah, right. So, as you can see, I just put my sunshades on. I don't need them on. Take them off. Right. Wow. Anyway, now let me just double check this as well because I haven't checked this in a very long time and I'm getting quite a bit of lag for this as well. Let's see how many of them have I got? 14. So we'll try and remember that. Right, so I need to go over to here. Hold on. No, that's the glasses. Sorry. I need to go to the red. Yes, guys, the red. 
sack for this one, if I remember rightly. I'll just quickly check. Dun 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 Yeah, the red sack and it has to be night time. So we are going to now fast forward it to night time. I really don't care because it's just the first location. And here we are. It is night time now. What we do is we come up to the sack. As it, sa as it says, collecting gingerbread man. We'll start that. It brings up the challenge. Okay. So now we have to track gingerbread man. Now we have to use the lamp because the lamp will make them show, as you can see. Actually, they all show up and without the lamp being on. I'll take item. So they're literally going to be on a straight path. They're just going to go all the way around and back to where you got the sack from, usually. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Pretty sure there's one down here at the edge. Come on. It shouldn't take me too long. Come on. Sprint it faster. Nah, come on, where are they? This is where I'm going to say, nope, they're not down here, and I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> are you kidding me? There used to be one down there. Okay, they've definitely changed this slightly from what I remember. Uh, remember, there used to be one down at the bottom there on the logs, so they've moved it. Um, why do this to me? I look like an idiot. I've just gone all the way down there for no reason. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, and it made me go to my map. Right, so that's two. That's definitely where they've definitely changed that from what I remember. Wow. Um, I'm just surprised they've actually changed that. Yeah, we, we can worry about the other one a bit later. Free. And they're not put on there. And obviously, what it does, it gives a bit of a red light kind of effect for this. Uh, I swear they've hidden this a bit. But obviously, with these gingerbread being collected, as you saw, it brought up, you get gingerbread mix. So, obviously, as you know, that will help you out for your challenges for trying to catch the um, hardy fish at the minute. Now, on the PC version, I'm going to say this because I have tested it for the last hour. They've changed how the ground, well, how the bait works. I am going to test this on the console after I've done this recording and another one just to see if they've actually changed how the ground bait mix works with the gingerbread men. Unfortunately, from what I know, they've completely changed how it works. Um, so the next best option is going for the tokens. Which will be for the jukebox. And yeah, they've actually moved the gingerbread man a bit on this location. So we're going to come over to this one as well. And you can't actually get out there. So they've actually changed that because before there wasn't one there. Anyway, so we've now collected that. Boom! We now have Mega Cookie Ground Bait. Now, just in case anyone's wondering, this will be at most of the locations, as you guys may know. It'll make it go around quite a bit. So I'm going to show you also another location. Yes, I'm not just going to do the one. I'm going to do two locations for you guys because they're pretty cheap to go to. And this is just for anyone who does get these done at a low level. This most help you guys out. Um, just in case. So like I say, what you need to do is just go to these locations. You can do it, I think it's once every day. What we'll do is we'll next time check the Santa Sack to see how long it says. It will say 24 hours. But it's basically 24 hours for the game itself. Um, so if you know it's gone to the next day, you can go back again. Uh, usually because I'm in the UK, when it comes to midnight, I might start this at 11pm or half 11pm. Hits midnight, I'm just there waiting for the next 30 minutes and then I do it again. Um, so that's how I do it. So I get two lots done in literally less than an hour's time. And maybe a bit of fishing at the same time with it. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> um, but yes, we're going to come to this location and <clears throat> we're going to try and hopefully get this challenge done. Um, now, obviously, there are a few other challenges during this season for Christmas, um, which is actually the fireworks and to do with the snow. Instead of just throwing snowballs at other players, 
I think you have to do about a maximum of 15, you get a free rod or something like that. Um, you can actually use the snow, yeah, the pure snow in your feeder. Wow, and that person's actually catching quite a lot, as you can see. Um, so I'm wondering if they've actually changed it for the consoles. And I'm going to say they may have, or well, they may have the consoles still the same. Um, if he's using the jukebox, it's fun. He's going to be getting them quite a lot. Uh, where's my stocking? I forgot to go check my stocking. There's the... Oh, let's get the bag done first, shall we? Funny, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, I'll have to see if that guy's been doing it through. So, yet again, at this location, Lesnar Villa, gingerbread tags. So, we basically got to go around and click gingerbread man yet again. And it's going to make me go this way this time. Again, these are going to be pretty simple and easy to do once you've had these. It is going to help out with some of your challenges. Um, now, obviously, my opinion, I used the ground mix. Now, obviously, like I said, they've changed how the ground mix works, which makes it a bit annoying. Um, oh, you're trying to hide from me over here, aren't you? There you are. Um, so, what I'm going to suggest, mostly, in my opinion, is to try and go for if you can, the glasses. Now, the reason why I'm saying go for the Santa glasses is because when you do the next one, which I will show you guys, you can get tokens. And the tokens will play the jukebox. Now, the jukebox plays a little bit longer than the ground bait works for. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a video on the ground bait if it still works how it does on console compared to the PC version. If not, I will explain it in the next video uh, when I do the whole glasses one so you can go, you guys can see you know the difference in it all um, which is really annoying that they've changed the mechanic already of the ground bait because um, obviously I'd use the cheapest ground bait I could with one mix of the gingerbread man mix and that whole bag would last me to do this challenge at this location or even on Lone Star like I say unfortunately they've changed it and it's annoying um, I guess they've done it for their reason so people will be fishing a bit longer or trying to do the change and make it a bit tougher and of course all the gingerbread men have to be all at the side next to the house now so we're going to check behind this bush because usually there's always something hidden behind this bush and today it's not <laughs> dang you let's do another sprint all the way down to this end and for some reason I feel like I'm missing two Why am I missing two ginger... This one over there? Oh my god, I missed that one. Seriously, I missed the one over there. Yeah, I missed one over there. Okay. See, these these little things can be very fast and very pesky. Um, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Yeah, okay. You don't have to rub it in, you gingerbread man. Come here. Um, I can't believe it. He actually hit... One of them is actually hidden from me. Where has that gingerbread man hidden? Um, as you can see, the person's getting gobies in mostly. Ah, here's one. I knew one of them was hiding up here. Now, from what I know, that guy is actually using prawns to catch his uh, green foolish gobies. He may actually be using the correct bait, which it does say for the Christmas event. But, like I said, for me, they've changed the bait. Um... When I fished with the Christmas bait and used the uh, gingerbread man, it never worked as the ground bait. Um, so I end up just using normal baits and I caught all my fish for this change. And why is this one hiding from me? Why is it? There you are. Sneaky little fella, ain't you? So yeah, that is. So as you can see, I've got two lots of ground baits already. Now, just in case, I'm going to check. It's probably going to say in 24 hours your time or wherever the system's time is so if it hasn't changed just come back maybe in a few hours um, around midnight your time it depends where you are in the world it might be a bit different obviously like I said for me it hits midnight I know it's the next day it's fine so again it might be a bit different um, 
And... Okay, so you can come back every hour. So if you wanted, you could just close the game down. Or you could just pause it like that for an hour in real life. Because obviously time will pass. As you can see, so we're waiting. And you can see the time's actually gone down for it. So yeah, you could always pause it and then come back and literally do it again and again and again and get a little ground bait. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how the ground bait works on there. Now, I'm pretty sure you know they're in the best location. I'm going to go quick to private, which is a bit of a shame because I'd like to ask that person how they do it. But <coughs> from what I know, they're using to the tokens. So I'm going to quickly show you how the ground bait works while I'm here because obviously you've just got two lots of ground bait. Now, if you want, you could use as many bags as you want, really. Um, I'm just going to use the one. I'm going to waste it because I don't really care because I've got plenty, as you can tell, and I'll get plenty in the mix as well. So I'm going to throw in the whole bag. I don't care. Now, if I want to throw in more and more and more and more, I am think I can have, like, three bags. But, again, I'm not worrying about it. We're just going to make up the one lot of mix. So one whole bag. Like I said, I'm not going to care if I'm wasting it because it's going to be thrown afterwards anyway. So as you can see, it's taken me a bit of time to make it. Obviously, if I was a premium member, it would only take five seconds, but we're not worrying about the time because we're just making this just so you guys can see what you can do with it. Now, for quite a load of people, obviously, as you can tell, I do have my catapult in. Now, if you don't have your catapult, it is twice the amount of ground bait, and it takes twice as long to do, uh, or to re-put into your hand or into a slot. So as you can see it is in at the top on the results because you have made some ground bait. Now usually this ground bait will go into your feeders. So obviously if I selected it, it would go into there. But I'm not because we're not going to use it in there. We're going to use our hand. As you can see it's in our hand slot. Now if I didn't have the catapult it would still be there. I would just be using more and it would take a bit longer to make up. So we're now going to go back to the map. And as you can see in that top right hand corner, it is making the ground bait into a ball so you can throw both. So like I say, because I've got a cat pot, it uses half the amount, but I can throw the ground bait twice as far in a catapult. Now there isn't actually any aim with this, and for this type of the map, you don't have to worry. Now I'm going to just launch as far as I can. Thunk. And it'll put up these little blue spots. Now, obviously, I'm going to try and fish one of them pretty quick. Obviously, it won't let me change till that ground bait has been made up, which is annoying. So, if you know where you are with the spots, throw some uh, rods out with your bait. Obviously, I'm using red worms. I'm going to see if I can get do this on. And actually, I'm going to change to where's my prawns? I mean, my shrimps. Change it to my shrimps because I know if I use shrimps, I will catch green gobies. And hopefully, I'll be able to prove this to you. Now, I know with the ground bait, it doesn't take, well, it doesn't last as long as what the jukebox will. Now, usually, when you've got ground bait in, you'll hear Christmas music. And now, unfortunately, I do not hear any Christmas Christmas music at all, which could be a reason why. And this really doesn't help me prove a fact at the minute because it's taking forever just for them to bite. Dang it. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing the jukebox works a lot quicker and a lot better for it to be working. Now, you can, like I said, put it into your feeder cages instead of having to throw it. But it can take a bit of time, guys. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to take too long. Please just bite and prove me right that this works. Because if it's actually the jukebox, it means a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh my god, I've got a huge grind. And I think I'm going to have to have a huge grind at the same time doing this. Which is not fun. And I just want to prove that I can catch a green gobby with a shrimp, please. And I think I've got the wrong distance. But anyway guys, just to let you know, that is how you make up your ground bait quickly. And what you get... Or what you can get because you've got the Santa hat. Now, obviously, like I say, you need to have that Santa's headlamp, I'll get the right words, on some sort of baseball cap without a light, obviously. Some of you may have done the challenges where you get the 
um, the cap with the light on already. Unfortunately, the Santa's hat will not go on that. And I'm hoping this will prove me right that I can get a green Gobi here and it's not gonna let me do it because it's gonna be funny and it freezes and it's gone so yeah it doesn't last that long so yeah for some reason they've changed that and I know before I would catch a lot with it so it might be I have to do Lone Star anyway I'll try and do the next video and hopefully I'll have better luck with that one anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did please do hit that like button if you haven't already please do subscribe like I say I am gonna get all the videos done for the Christmas event but if I don't at least I'm showing you guys who do have it or who have been able to manage to get to these what your reward is for getting the headlamp and obviously the Santa glasses and like I say if you're able to go to the four locations say four locations and I'm not even at the page for it I'm on the wrong bit the four locations to get the snowman hat obviously it's going to Rocky Lake, Falcon Lake, White Moose Lake and uh, Cancu Creek and get the snow piles all together get 25 packs of snow so you think four locations again it's quite a bit of money guys can you go to all four locations do you have the time? Yes, you have more than enough time. I'm pretty sure you have. As you can see there, it says 18 days. So if you're able to go to at least, I'm going to say two. I would preferably say three. But if you go into two locations at this moment, you can do that challenge before the end of the year and before the challenge ends. So I would suggest going to, if you can, Rocky Lake and Falcon Lake. I know they're a bit of a grind to get for cash. But if you're taking a spinner rod with you, go spin them and get as much t you can for fishing there even if you have to do five days on one of them it's going to be worth it getting that hat in. and as you can see that you get a token for doing that challenge as well which is going to help you out to get that token in that jukebox anyway guys I'm going to leave it there and I'll be back with you with the next episode to, obviously to do with the polarized Santa glasses so hopefully like I said you enjoyed if you did see you back on the lake Bye for now, guys.